Alrighty traders, George here. Time for a quick look at the week in review. I just want to talk about the S&P and uh, gold. This is the secondary long that I showed you guys in the room for the S&P futures. This came on the heels of this nice rotation here where we talked about being long through this air pocket. Here's the pullback and then the resumption with a whole new opportunity and that went over 20 points in favor. Here's what the setup looked like on Thursday just waiting for price to move up so sort of a favorable excursion style entry trigger and then you can see how price resonated at those zones pretty well rolling over around 2100 and uh, we'll see what comes in the low 90s if we touch that tonight or tomorrow morning but great follow through there both of these impulses looking for the bull energy there and really getting it in dramatic fashion so S&P is looking really good and some great follow through to setups we talked about in advance okay also talking about moves in advance looking at gold here's the snapshot from last week's video trading at 1150 looking for the continuation down for some lower targets this is the real big picture um, view here but also that nod to 1166 as being the strength of signal point to get over this balance beam to see a new bull energy come into the mix so we talked about being long for this impulse and then being short for this impulse and then this actually drove down more in favor since I did that video but then set up this key catalytic point here of 1166 and you can see what happened here's the hybrid chart where we actually got down into the 1140 so we dropped another ten dollars from when I did that video last week just on basically on the next day and then we started to recover this area so 1150 that was the floor we recover that that's a sign that the bulls are coming back into the mix we take over this top line here another sign but the bigger picture sign was them breaking this floor here that's when they can open the door to move up higher and then where we are right now we got as high as 11 the upper 1180s here 1187s putting in a little bit of resistance here. If we get back over 85s, we're very likely going to drive up to 1200. If we fade and get to 1170, that would be a good spot to look for a bounce and a retest of the zone minimum. If we break into the zone here, watch for the bears to get involved and get it below 1166. Um, that would likely see it drive down another $10 or so. In this zone here, there's a lot of trading commitment. So if you're short here and not covering or pushing stops down, this is a spot to expect a huge bounce and another area to look for a pop. This could catch shorts off guard if it happens to break down that much. They're not covering here initially and then they have to scramble to do it. That could also lead to some emotional chasing of price as it moves up. If it breaks below 11.50 and another dollar or so to get below all this, um, we're very likely not only going to retest the lows here but go even lower. So gold's done a pretty good job of driving down to retest the earlier lows that it had in the 1130 level here just 10 bucks away from it but now a lot of trading commitment coming in and on alert and ready for that throughout the week as we start to see strength come in over 1150 the big uh, one off the higher uh, period of value view of the market is 1166 and that's essentially where the second impulse really got going and now we're sitting here at 1181s on the Friday close. So pretty good action here from gold. This looks, this is a great looking corrective impulse in that both of these are moving up at an incline. They're not breaking the downtrend due to price just moving sideways. So uh, the gold bulls have this thing right where they need it, although they've done that before and let it go. I would be on alert for gold strength over 1185 or on a pullback and a strong bounce at 1170. Below 1170 is going to compromise that. But these are moves we talked about in advance before they happened. And you can see the incredible follow through. The follow through down, the trigger point on the way up, able to catch some good gains there. If you happen to be long north of 1166s, you got price moving over $20 in favor. You've got the S&P moving over 20 points in favor on that secondary long, aside from the one that we knew about in the afternoon on Wednesday. Some really good price action there. Use the link at the bottom of the video here. Hop in the live room. You can see me trade these markets and lay out some more predictive analysis for some of these big picture trades. That'll do it for now. We'll see you back in the live room.